In this Madden 22 breakdown, I'm going to be showing you one of the most underrated passing concepts from Madden 21, how it applies to Madden 22, why it is so good and effective, and how we can actually make it even better than we had it last year. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to this channel. It also allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that I release every single day here on the YouTube channel. The other thing that I wanted to just quickly let you know about is if you haven't already joined our Patreon membership, that is where you can actually get access to all. Uh, I have 18 offensive and defensive eBooks available. Um, and by joining the Patreon for just $10, um, you're gonna be able to get access to all of them. Now it is a monthly subscription, but you can cancel that whenever you would like to. But for $10 a month, not only are you gonna get access to every eBook, which the Trips Tied In is included in this, uh, again, it's one of 18 other ones. So we have a ton of eBooks, um, but it's not just the trips tied in. It, it also allows you to be able to get access to all the additional updates. We update the Patreon pretty much every week, uh, multiple times a week with new material, new updates, new tweaks, new little things, um, new eBooks in general. Um, and so if you want to get access to that, we're going to be doing a ton uh, in the Patreon over the course of the next couple of weeks on uh, just breaking down some of the high level pro player stuff that we've been seeing and then we're also going to be breaking down some new ebooks as well that I've got in the works the dollar or the dime 236 will the dime 236 the um, uh, what's the other one the sugar 32 a lot of good stuff coming out in the patreon for if you if you struggle with defense we've got a lot of stuff coming over the coming weeks so if you want to get access to that we've already got a ton of stuff in there um, I'm going to put a link to the to the Patreon in the description, and you can sign up for just $10 a month, and as long as you're subscribed to it or uh, a member of the site, you'll get access to everything, all the eBooks, all the new eBooks, all the updates. You've got private messaging platforms in there where you can ask your questions as well, so just a great little thing, and today we're talking about the play, uh, PA Counter Go. Now, this is a um, tight end apprentice or a Hot Route Master setup. And uh, most people at this point in the year, they're going to have those abilities. Um, if you don't have the, those abilities, you can basically do the same concept out of PA, um, or not PA, but um, P, uh, Pat's YN. You can basically do the same concept as Pat's YN. Just use Pat's YN, the, the little in route right there, as your tight end apprentice post. And then everything else we're going to do, you can basically do. Okay? So PA counter go. And the setup is really, really simple. What we're going to do with this is we are going to, there's two different setups I'm going to give you. The first one is for my guys that don't have Hot Route Master or you're playing someone that has a really good user in the middle of the field. And here's how we're going to do this. What we're going to do for someone that's got a good user in the middle of the field or we don't have Hot Route Master is we are going to crosser our tight end. We're going to zig the circle receiver we're going to wheel the running back and then we're going to take the triangle receiver right here and we're going to motion him over and put him on a curl route and we're going to snap the ball right here right when he gets to the numbers and what you're going to see here is the user there's no defense really in this game that's going to be able to hang with the wheel curl on the right side of the field and the reason why i'm i really want to hit on that is because if they're you typically what's gonna happen here if 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 you want to go with the second setup you could also just put the tight end on a post you don't have to put him on a wheel again or a, a crosser and you could also put the tight end on that in route that we were just talking about from Pat's way in this is why this is a great setup for you if you don't have hot route master so what you'll see with this is this tight end apprentice post requires them and requires them to either have a 30 yard cloud flat or to Mabel their, uh, or a user to cross the field. So even if they have a Tampa 2 coverage, what you should see with this, if you watch this tight end post, because of where he's gonna get to on the field, you can throw the curl or you can throw the post, okay? And that's key, that's really key. Now, the other thing that you can do off of this if you wanted a little bit of a different or a nuanced setup, let's say they're running a lot of just cover two, they're pressing you into the ground um, on the left side so you know they're not zone dropping. If you're finding yourself facing that a lot, 
you can go with a secondary setup. And the secondary setup is, is basically this. We're going to seam streak circle. We're going to zig the outside guy. And then we're going to run the concept like this. Why would you do this? Well, that is a cloud flat glitch. And what you'll notice is the cloud flat won't drop to the tight end and you can hit him. And so what this does is you're going to force the opponent to have to play 30 yard clouds and basically run a Mabel concept. Once we get them to have to do that, where they basically have to pr play uh, Mabel coverage, now we're basically playing chess with their or uh, with their user, and that's where my second setup. Um, I'm going to show it in just a second, but that's where your curl really is going to come in handy. So you start to notice that they're mabling every play. You go to this play right here because there's typically not going to be a yellow zone right here, and that route's wide open because they have to carry the they have to carry the post to the crosser. And most of the time, people are expecting the second setup that I'm going to show you. And that's why this in particular setup is really good. Now, let's say you're getting a lot, and I mean a lot of Mabel. Okay, let's just say you're getting a lot of Mabel. What you can do is instead of running a zig route, you can run a hitch. So you can kind of freestyle a little bit out of this and kind of make this play your own a little bit. But this little hitch right here, if they're, if they're running Mabel, very good. If they're blitzing you a lot, let's say you're getting a lot of pressure. Um, if you're getting a lot of pressure, whether it be man or zone, it does not really matter. But if you're getting a lot of pressure, what you can easily do with this is this zig is going to get mismatched with the safety. So you can easily hit the safety. One of the things you might have just noticed is that let's say they're playing man-to-man -man coverage on you. If they're playing man-to-man -man coverage on you and they're blitzing you, they're sending five players, this is a killer for a blitz. Why? Because the user has to choose. Am I going to go to the zig or the running back wheel? The re wheel to the running back is always open against a man pressure. Always open against a man pressure. So what they're going to do then is they're going to say, well, we're going to go with a hard flat blitzing concept. We're just going to play, you know, heavy underneath hard flats. Well, that's where you can go. I mean, you can still hit this zig, but it, it, it is better if you have a hitch. But what you'll see here is you can just throw that kind of right in there. Of course, that guy would be blitzing, so he wouldn't be in that passing lane. But you can, you really, your quick read is your zig. Your quick, your, your quick read on this is your zig. And if it's there, please take your zig by all means. If it's not there, then just move through your progressions. Move through your progressions. You're going for your zig. Boom, that's your hot read. See how good that is against the blitz. And just kind of keeps the offense on schedule. And then let's say, for example, that they're going to overplay the zig, which they will. Once you throw it a couple times, they're going to start to overplay that zig route. Well, then what you're going to be able to do on this is your tight end should be wide open over the middle of the field. Because they've jumped to the left. So if they jump to the left, then you can throw up the seam right in there. And now they can't blitz you. They really can't. They're, they're, they're putting themselves in a position where it's going to be really hard to consistently blitz you. Then they have to drop to this Mabel. And that's where I want to go over my second setup uh, with this, which is a Hot Route Master um, specialty. And what you'll notice is, if and this is where you're going to be able to really take advantage of them. Um, what you want to do is you want to put this guy on a post, Miller on a post, and then you're going to motion him across. And this is where you want to put that tight end on a crosser, and you have a wheel. What we're hoping is that this crosser will carry the user out of the way, and we're going to look to hit this post kind of at the numbers. The wheel is going to pull all these zones out of the way, and you're going to throw that right in that little seam or right in that little window right there. Now, let's say you want to do that concept, but you don't have, um, you don't have that ability then just put him on a smart routed in route. Okay, you don't have to make it too complicated, but just put him on a smart routed in route. Something as simple as this right here. It's a very simple concept, and what you're gonna notice is the smart routed in route is now gonna run, and you can hit him right there. Again, based on what their user does. If their user goes vertically with the tight end, then you can hit that. If, it, if the user sits on that, let's say for, and so what this does, especially in the world of Mabel, let's say that they, um, you know, let's say that they drop, try to figure out how to make this guy go to where I want him to go. Um, let's just say we do this. So it's going to drop this guy in a vertical hook. This guy's going in a hard flat. So this guy is going to imitate as if they were dropping 
from the middle into an area where they can guard this post, okay? Well, if that's the case, then you're gonna be able to hit your crosser, but you're not gonna be able to hit it immediately, right? So you're gonna read crosser, oh, he's there, oh, going here, oh, he's there, okay, now let me come back here, and you see that you can hit that before it gets to the flat zones. So that's one of the main reasons why this is so good. A lot of people right now are playing man-to-man -man with two purple zones and shading up. This is a great play for that as well. And the reason why is because your post will typically beat man-to-man, -man, your crosser will beat man-to-man, -man, your zig will beat shaded up man-to-man. -man. So you have that, and then you also have that right there over the middle, one of the best man beaters in the game. So you're really gonna put them in a position where they're gonna have to, they're gonna have to do a lot um, to be able to stop this concept. And this is one of my favorite little plays. It's a complete hot route master setup, really is. Um, you know, really all we're leveraging is the fade over here. If you want to put this guy on a skinny post, you certainly can do that. If you're thinking or anticipating that you might get some cover too, that's actually a really good adjustment. So let's say you're, you're feeling like there's a likelihood that you're going to get some type of cover too. Well, here's a cover too. And what you'll see here is that wheel will pull that deep half out of the way. And there's a nice little window where you can hit this post over the top. So it really puts a defense in a bind. It's something that I think people need to utilize more. It's a very, very effective little concept out of trips tight end that I just don't see a lot of people running right now. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. If you want to get my uh, all of my eBooks, my trips tight end included in that, join our Patreon membership. You get access to every eBook, um, every update to every eBook, every exclusive update tip-wise, any new eBooks that come out while your subscription is active. So if you want to sign up for that, it's only $10 a month and there's a link to join it in the description of the video.